CataractCoach.com, expert level small pupil case with pseudoexfoliation and IFIS. Guest surgeon Dr. Dobrin Boyadziev from Bulgaria. So we're making a pairs of these here. Look how shallow the anterior chamber is, a very shallow anterior chamber. The pupil here looks to be about three, maybe four millimeters in diameter. And this is a case where we're going to use multiple different things to expand the pupil. So the first thing you're going to do is a pharmacologic agent. Some anesthetics like lidocaine can help expand the pupil or some other agents such as phenylephrine or epinephrine. All of these are able to help expand the pupil. Once that's done, putting in viscoelastic like Dr. Osher taught us, viscomedriasis, expanding the pupil, injecting it right there at the pupil margin. Now we have about a four millimeter pupil. Iris is gonna be stretched out now, pupil stretching using two choppers, carefully hooking the pupil margin of the iris. Don't damage the lens capsule. Do it again, about 90 degrees apart, and pull the instruments way back to the angle. Now a little more viscoelastic, and now you've got about a four and a half millimeter pupil. That looks pretty good. That's gonna make life pretty reasonable. Make the main incision. You've seen this technique before. We're gonna use forceps to create a larger capsular axis. Even though the pupil's four millimeters or so, you can make a five millimeter axis. Now let's look at the nucleus removal. We sped up the video to four times speed. The surgeon's being very careful to stay in the very center of that pupil at the iris plane to slowly and carefully remove all of the nucleus. Now this is a tough technique. If you're a beginning surgeon, this is not recommended for you. Using bimanual irrigation aspiration to remove the lens cortex, Important at some point to lift up the iris to check underneath it. You've seen me do this in my videos using a chopper and coaxial infusion. And here, if you're using a bimanual approach, you can use that non-dominant infusion hand to use the infusion probe and lift up the iris as well. We like to show all these different techniques to our surgeons, even the beginning surgeons. You don't have to try this. You may do a better job in this case by placing iris hooks or a pupil ring. And if that's the case, by all means, use what you've got, use what makes you comfortable. But just know that there are other options available. Here, placing the IOL, nicely rolled up in the injector, you can go right through that small pupil and place it in the capsule bag. And now let's ensure that it's completely in the capsule bag so that all heals well. Beautiful case, thanks for watching. Check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. A ton of great material much more than you'll find here on YouTube, and you can submit your video too.